Britain, World War II and after. The conflict started in September 1939 when Germany invaded Poland. In 1940, Belgium, Holland and Norway fell under German control. In the same year, in June, France surrendered after that French and British troops retreated from Dunkirk. In Great Britain, the Prime Minister became um, Winston Churchill. He was a member of the Conservative Party. He established the War Cabinet, which was a group of five people, five members, that had to take important decisions about the war. Germany was very powerful, as we said, uh, but there were some mistakes that Hitler uh, made uh, throughout the war. The first one was that Germany wanted to take control on the English Channel uh, using uh, the Luftwaffe, but the Luftwaffe was not uh, strong enough uh, and for this reason Germany never conquered Great Britain. Another big mistake was the one was the decision to invade the USSR in 1941. The invasion started in June, but then uh, the German army faced a terrible winter on Russian territory, and the sieges of Leningrad, Moscow and Stalingrad um, were not successful. So after that, in January 1943, Germany surrendered and the Russians marched throughout Eastern Europe to liberate the countries invaded by the Germans. Um, in 1941, the Japanese attack to Pearl Harbor led uh, to the American intervention in the conflict. And in this moment, it became a world war. Montgomery's army caused the retreat of German and Italian troops in North Africa in 1942. And the final phase of the war started in 1944, when the Allies arrived on the coast of Normandy and started the very famous D-Day, the 6th of June 1944. After this action, France was liberated. In 1945, Germany surrendered after Hitler's suicide, uh, but Japan was still uh, involved in the war. In August 1945, Japan was bombed by the Americans and it surrendered. In the picture, you can see the mushroom cloud created by the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima, Japan, the 6th of August 1945. Um, let's talk about the consequences of the war. Uh, the power of the European empires was weakened. Uh, they had to abandon some colonies. We are talking about Britain, who uh, had to grant independence to Ceylon, Burma, India and Singapore as a reward for uh, the intervention of the people in favour of Britain against Germany. Um, of course, Britain had to pay huge debts for the war. The country was completely damaged by the heavy bombing, as you can see in the picture on the right. Lots of industries were in a very difficult situation and tried to return to a normal peacetime, peacetime conditions. Uh, after the war in 1945, they were against the general election. Churchill uh, was defeated by the Labour Party and the Prime Minister became Clement Attlee. In 1947, um, there was the Marshall Plan. Uh, it was um, a plan aimed at helping European countries recover um, economically and prevent the weaker ones from falling under Russian influence. Uh, the recovery was uh, quite slow. After the war, USA signed an agreement of mutual defense with Western Europe, and this agreement was called NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Um, the Labour Party, as we said, uh, after 1945, we have Attlee, the um, Labour Prime Minister in charge. The Labour Party focused on a policy of welfare for the population, uh, referring to healthcare, unemployment and pensions. Um, the process of national nationalisation of power and natural resources, transport and credit characterised this period. The Cold War was also a very important moment in this historical 
landscape. It was a competition between the most powerful countries in the world, USSR and the USA. Uh, there were also major crises, the war in Korea and the Vietnam War. It was a nuclear arms race. USA exploded the first H-bomb in 1952 and USSR in 1953, so the world was not safe anymore. There was also uh, the Suez Crisis in Northern Africa in 1956. So Egypt became independent after World War II. In 1952, there was a revolution. Britain withdrew from the Canal Zone but kept its share in the canal. The President Nasser in 1956 nationalized the company which owned the Suez Canal. So British and French um, decided to bomb Egypt in October uh, 56. So the condemnation from the UN and US arrived very quickly and the sterling collapsed and British troops were forced to withdraw. So Britain understood that it was not a leading power anymore. Uh, then we arrive to Queen Elizabeth and present times. She was, um, she, she succeeded his fa her father in 1952 and was crowned Queen Elizabeth II in 1953. Um, of course, uh, at, at that time, in the 50s, it was a period of disillusionment due to the fact that Britain had lost its first class rank among the powerful countries of the world, being dependent on the USA. Uh, Britain had also lost an empire. And of course, the Queen Elizabeth uh, tried hard to rule the country and she is still in charge, the um, longest reigning monarch uh, in Europe.